Hey guys, so um, today I'm going to be reading pages 14 and 15 of uh, the, the Extreme Team Bible. So, uh, uh, yeah, I mean, let's just, let's get started. And he said, Blessed be the Lord, the God of Shem, and may Canaan be his servant, and may God enlarge Japheth, and may he dwell in the tents of Shem, and may Canaan be his servant. And Noah lived after the flood 350 years. So all the days of Noah were 950 years, and he died. Nations descended from Noah. Now this is the genealogy of the sons of Noah, Shem, Ham, and Japheth. And sons were born to them after the flood. The sons of Japheth were G G G Gomer. Sorry, I'm not good with pronunciations. Uh, I'm, I apologize deeply for that. I'm not very good. Were Gomer, Magog, Madai, Juvan, Tubal, Meshech, and Tiras. The sons of Gomer were Ashkenaz, Rebath, and Togermah. The sons of Javan were Elisha, Tarshish, Kittim, and Dodanim. From these, the coastland peoples of the Gentiles were separated into their lands, everyone according to his language, according to their families, into their nations. What's it mean? Japheth and his descendants lived near the eastern sh shore of the Mediterranean Sea, the area that is now southern Turkey and Syria, Genesis 10, 2 through 5. The sons of Ham were Cush, Mizraim, Put, and Canaan. The sons of Cush were Seba, Havilah, Sabta, Rama, and Sabtacha. And the sons of Rama were Sheba and Dedan. Cush begot Nimrod he began to be a mighty one on the earth. He was a mighty hunter before the Lord. Therefore it is said, like Nimrod, the mighty hunter before the Lord. And the beginning of his kingdom was Babel, Erech, or Erek, Akkad, and Kalmeh, the land in the land of Shinar. From that land he went to Assyria and built Nineveh, Rehoboth, Ir Kala and resin between Nineveh and Kala. That is the principal city. What's it mean? Ham and his descendants settled in Africa, Egypt, and what is now Jordan and Israel. The land of Shinar and Assyria were located east of Israel in what is now Iraq. Genesis ten six through twenty. Mizraim begot Ludim, Anamim, Leheb. Bim, Naf, Tuhim, Pathrusim, and Kasluhim, from whom came the Philistines and Kaphtorim. Canaan begot Sidon, his firstborn, and Heth, the Jebusite, the Amorite, and the Girgashite, and the Hivite, the Archite, and the Sinite. The Arvadite, the Zemarite, and the Hamathite. Afterward, the families of the Canaanites were dispersed, and the border of the Canaanites was from Sidon as you go toward Gerar, as far as Gaza, then as you go toward Sodom, Gomorrah, Adma, and Zeboim, as far as Lasha. These were the sons of Ham, according to their families, according to their languages, in their lands, and their nations. And children were also born to Shem, the father of all the children of Eber, the brother of Japheth the elder. The sons of Shem were Alam, Asher, Arphaxad, Lud, and Aram. The sons of Aram were Azhol, Gether, and Mash. Arphaxad begot Salah, and Salah begot Eber. To Eber were born two sons. The name of one was Peleg, for his days in the earth was divided, and his brother's name was Joktan. Joktan begot Almodad, Shalef, Hazar, Maleth, Jarah, 
Hedoram, Uzo, Dekla, Obal, Abimael, Sheba, Ophir, Havala, and Jobab. All these were the sons of Joktan, and their dwelling place was from Mesha as you go towards Sephar, the mountains of the east. These were the sons of Shem according to their families, according to their languages, and their lands according to their nations. These were the families of the sons of Noah, according to the generations, in their nations, and from these nations were divided on the earth after the flood. The Tower of Babel. Now the whole earth had one language and one speech, and it came to pass, as they journeyed from the east, that they found a plain in the land of Shinar, and they dwelt there. Then they said to one another, Come, let us make bricks and bake them thoroughly. They had brick for stone, and they had asphalt for mortar. And they said, Come, let us build ourselves a city, and a tower whose top is in the heavens. Let us make a name for ourselves, lest we be scattered abroad over the face of the whole earth. But the Lord came down to see the city and the tower which the sons of men have built, had built. And the Lord said, Indeed, the people are one, and they all have one language. And this is what they begin to do. Now nothing they, that they propose will be withheld from them. Come, let us go down there and confuse their language, that they may not understand one another's speech. So the Lord scattered them abroad from there over the, all the fa face of all the earth, and they ceased building the city. Therefore its name is called Babel, because there the Lord confused the language of all the earth. From there the Lord scattered them abroad over the face of all the earth. Shem's descendants. This is the genealogy of Shem. Shem was 100 years old and begot Arphaxad two years after the flood. After he begot Arphaxad, Shem lived 500 years and begot sons and daughters. Arphaxad lived 35 years and begot Salah. After he begot Salah, Arphaxad lived 403 years and begot sons and daughters. Salah lived 30 years and begot Eber. After he begot Eber, Eber Salah lived 403 years and begot sons and daughters. Eber lived 34 years and begot Peleg. After he begot Peleg, Eber lived 430 years and begot sons and daughters. Peleg lived 30 years and he begot Ru. Therefore its name called ba is called Babel because the Lord confused the language of all the earth. Genesis 11, 9a. So that was like a note that it's pointing out here because it's important. After he begot Ru, Peleg lived 209 years and begot sons and daughters. Ru lived 32 years and begot Sarag. After he begot Sarag, Ru lived 207 years and begot sons and daughters. Sarag lived 30 years and begot Nahor. After he begot Nahor, Sarag lived 200 years and begot sons and daughters. Nahor lived 29 years and begot Terah. After he begot Terah, Nahor lived 119 years and begot sons and daughters. Now Terah lived 70 years and begot Abram, Nahor, and Haran. Terah's descendants. This is the genealogy of Terah. Terah begot Abram, Noor, and Haran. Haran begot Lot, and Haran died for his father Terah in his native land, in the Ur of Chaldeans. Then Abram and Noor took wives. The name of Abram's wife was Sarai, and the name of Noor's wife, Milcah, the daughter of Haran, the father of Milcah, and the father of Iscah. But Sarai was barren. She had no child. What's it mean? Ever heard of the promised land? That's Canaan. The land was located east of the Mediterranean Sea, where Syria, Lebanon, and Israel are today. Genesis 11:31. And Terah took his son Abram and his grandson Lot, the son of Haran, and his daughter-in-law Sarai, his son Abram's wife, and they went out with them from Ur of the Chaldeans to go to the land of Canaan, and they came to Haran and dwelt there. So the days of Terah were 205 years, and Terah died in Haran. So, yeah. Um, so next week I'll be reading pages 16 and 17. Um, see you then.